Hello, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these teeny tiny little mini wind spinners. These are really super cute. Um, they're perfect for um, little Christmas tree decorations um, or for hanging on your rear view mirror of your car. Um, anywhere really, just little teeny tiny mini ones and even if you were to make like them in rainbow colours and to make yourself a little garland with them, they'd look really sweet in front of a mi uh, window. Um, on mine I've just attached a little pre-made pom-pom but of course you can add any decoration that you like. Um, I've made mine using a cotton um, acrylic blend of yarn so it's quite a thin yarn but it's still a double knit weight um, but it's just that little bit slimmer than a standard acrylic. Um, making that I've used a three millimeter crochet hook and obviously you're going to need a pair of scissors also. Um, if you want to make it even tinier you could use like a floor, four ply yarn or even thinner you could go with like um, an embroidery floss um, and of course you can go down in size in your crochet hook um, but for demonstration purposes and for today I'm going to be using the three mil and we're going to be making a little spinner with um, a chain of 30. So to begin what you're going to do is you're going to start by making a slip knot. Um, if you don't know how to do this on my YouTube channel I've got um, a playlist called Crochet Basics and on there is a really nice slow um, tutorial on how to make one of those. So we've got our slip knot and we're going to make a chain of 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 22, 23, 24, 25, 29 and 30 and then we're going to add one for our turning chain. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, you don't have to be precise, it's just I find that going up in the tens makes them easier to keep track of. Okay so we've got our 30 plus our one to turn, then starting in the second chain from the hook so not this first one here into the second chain we're going to work two single crochets so I'm explaining this pattern in US terms uh, for anyone that uses UK terms that would be two double crochets and we're going to work two double crochets or two single crochets into each chain all the way along all the way along until we get to the end okay um, so if you continue doing that I will meet you back here when we've finished that one that's the end of round two. Um, so we've worked three half double crochets into each single crochet space. Now to finish this round, we're going to make a chain of one and turn our work. And for the third and final round, we are simply going to slip stitch into the top of each half double crochet all the way along until we get back to the top of our wind spinner. And this just helps stiffen the edges off and helps the spinner to keep its shape while it's hanging. Okay, so that's just one slip stitch into each of our half double crochets. Continue to do that and I will meet you back at the end of round three. Now we've reached the end of round three and our um, wind spinner body is complete. Um, I've just cut off um, my yarn tail and kept it nice and long. Um, again, if you pull your yarn tail through your loop and pull it tight that helps secure your final stitch there and stops that coming out so easily. Um, obviously um, we're now going to shape our spinner because obviously it's not going to spin very nicely sitting like that so to do so it's really very simple you take the top of your spinner and you want to shape each individual level into a circle okay so like that so basically we're doing little pancakes or um, little coasters stacked on top of each other like that okay so we need to keep working each layer around following the edge of the previous circle 
you can turn it in your hand if that makes life easier. It doesn't matter which direction you go, just follow the spinner around. Okay. And it seems a little bit never ending, but eventually it just all of a sudden it just clicks in with itself and then you have a nice neat little pile of wind spinner layers. You grab your tail out from the top and then if you pop it on a hard surface and give it a push down just to help squeeze everything into shape um, and then if you are to pull up you will see that you now have what looks like your little spinner. So what you need to do now just to finish off is you need to take your yarn tail here and you can either use a needle or just your hook and weave it in along the width of your spinner spirals if you like to get down to here which is where our center chain begins okay so where you've your very first chain the chain of 30 that we did in the beginning you want to move you want to weave your tail down into the middle there otherwise you'll be hanging your spinner from that bit there and obviously it just doesn't hang so nicely so if you want it to hang nicely work your way down um, several stitches down into the um, starting chain where it naturally wants to sort of sit okay and then so that's where your tail would be there and then of course on the bottom you can add um, another tail and add some decorations to it or you can leave it plain like that um, some little pom-poms or a mini tassel would be really cute um, I'm also planning to make some for my own Christmas tree and I'm going to pop some little bells on the bottom which I think would be really sweet for our Christmas tree this year um, yes yeah, so there you go that's the little mini wind spinner there's lots of different um, uses for these lots of different projects and things I'm sure people with some really good imagination could have a whale of a time with that okay so that's how you do your mini wind spinner um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did pop a like down at the bottom on my video because this helps it be seen by others um, and it also helps me to keep providing you with free tutorials and if you're not already do hit the subscribe button and you'll be kept up to date with uh, my latest releases and new content that's coming out your way thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you again soon